stay with politics. The Deputy Prime Minister Winston Peters is warming up for his stint in the country's top political job. Mr Peters chaired Cabinet today and hosted uh, the Prime Minister's weekly post-Cabinet media conference for the first time this afternoon. Here's our Deputy Political Editor, Chris Bramwell. Last Monday, Jacinda Ardern was advised not to fly anymore and since then has been mainly working from home in Auckland. It was a calm Winston Peters who strode into the Beehive Theatre in her place this afternoon to address the media. Ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon we had the normal Cabinet meeting. Uh, this was chaired by me as Deputy Prime Minister. As you know, the Prime Minister is in Auckland and remains as the Prime Minister until the birth of her child. In the meantime, I'm assisting by carrying out her Wellington-based duties. Jacinda Ardern's due date was yesterday, but there's no sign yet of the new arrival, so Mr Peters is still Deputy Prime Minister for now. He doesn't formally take over until Ms Ardern arrives at the hospital to give birth. So how should this press conference be viewed given he's not yet acting Prime Minister? Well, you could say it's a bit of a curtain raiser, couldn't you? And Mr Peters was clear he's done this before. Well, it's not the first time. I was doing it 22 years ago, chairing cabinet meetings. He was asked how he would be told it was time for him to step up. One of the media people brings me and says it's happening, as they already have, and I've told them they're wrong. Oh, I get a phone call from the Prime Minister, that's number two. Number three is a text, number four, my Chief of Staff tells me, or number five, her Chief of Staff tells me. Maybe there's ten variations, but I'm giving you the five. Is that uh, adequate for you? Winston Peters told media he had been in touch with the Prime Minister today. Today, I've had two phone calls today. Was she happy? Yes, she was. Thank you very much. I am not going to. I am not going to come down here to a press conference and start talking about a private conversation over the prime minister. Do you mind? Winston Peters will be standing in for the prime minister in her regular media rounds tomorrow morning, and will be answering questions on her behalf in Parliament for the rest of the week. But as to when he gets to fully take over the job, well, that's a waiting game for everyone. Atuiti Fari Party Mata Motihotaka Otiahi Pone, Chris Bramwell,